It is the David Matt Sports Program. I am your announcer, Felipe Lopez. And here is East Side Day. Oh, my God. Well, I'll tell you what. I've heard some introductions before. But I ain't ever heard anything that good before in my life. Felipe Lopez. With all due respect yeah. to Chris Pepper Stanley, Who? who's not here. Boo! Boo! To Roy Schaefer, who's not here. Boo! Boo! We decided to. I'm hiring we, now. We decided to. <laughs> That's it. We brought in someone who graced the cover of Sports Illustrated. Averaged uh, over uh, 17 points per game for St. John's. 20 points, 20 points. 20, oh, 20, let's, 20, let's 20 just put points, a little bit more. excuse me. All Big East. One of the best college basketball players of all time. Felipe Lopez is your co host. Yeah. And I'm proving it by tweeting it and Facebooking oh. <laughs> it. Right now. And I should probably be concentrating on no, what I'm talking right. about. We got hey, this. Hey, I got to tell you, we already got people going crazy on Twitter. I already got like about like, like 17 Twitters. They 17? Yeah. 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 Listen to Felipe, <laughs> bring the noise. That, that was just 30 yeah. seconds ago. So, you know, we're going to keep on going. People on Twitter, keep uh, following us at Eastside Dave. I'm Felipe Lopez, 13 DR. You already know. This is fantastic. Oh, yeah, he knows how to play. Wow. Yes. You know, I have worked with Pepper for 37 years, Felipe. About? I've worked with Roy Schaefer for 36 years. Never once did they plug my Twitter account no. oh, in the no. beginning of the show. No. And look at Mr. Lopez over Come here. On, Pepper, Pepper, you know? man. Disappointed at you, Pepper. <laughs> right. Can you believe Pepper? Man, Pepper. And, do, you, do you know why Pepper's not here, Felipe? Uh, Will this. <laughs> Nose candy, you know, Uh-oh. you know. I know, I know. You're from the DR, from the Dominican Republic. No, uh, uh, so I don't know if this translates. Yayo, that's oh, what he's into. <laughs> he is into yayo, and I am concerned about his well-being. I, I don't know that. where the fuck he is. He shows up once every seven shows. <laughs> And then when uh, Rob Sprantz uh, gives us the riot cast checks, he's like, hey, uh, where's my 25%? Pepper, give it a break, Pepper. Come on, we need you to give it a break. You hear it, Chardo? You give Felipe Rope- uh, Lopez a goddamn jump stinger. I think that's your job. <laughs> Woo! I, I'm even posting this on Google+. Plus. Well, first Ooh, of all, how pass. the heck are you, Felipe Lopez? Yeah, how man, are you? I'm what good. are you doing I'm here? I'm great, man. I just uh, to be uh, to be here sitting with you, man. I, I actually feel better. You do feel better just by sitting by me? Yeah, man. Don't you, you, you know the you, sins I've I've committed <laughs> in my life? Oh, you're a sink, baby. You're a well, you know, you, you, and I were smoking pot. You are stairwell. plugging me in, man. <laughs> you are plugging me. In. You are plugging me in with the best fans. On the whole wide world, New York City, man. This right. shit, it could be better than this, man. Look Come on now. This. On a Wednesday night? Well, the reason why I call you a New York City basketball legend is uh, for those of you who may not remember, you should, but for those of you who don't, Felipe Lopez, one of the all time greatest high school New York City basketball players, then parlayed that into a fantastic career uh, with St. John's. I mean, you're synonymous. With uh, now, was there a lot of pressure on the in high school? You got put on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Was that a little bit weird? What was going on with that scenario? Man, forget that. Just the fact that you did your homework, man. You are you are the shit. <laughs> I, man, you got this shit. I know we sports, just, believe just, it or not. We just met. We just met. Because the thing about it, no, but they, look, check this out. We just met five minutes ago. You just asked me to come into your show, and you just bombarded me with all these dang questions. And I'm like, I thought we was going to be talking about music, you know, some <laughs> community you, service. What and, do you want? Like, you are hitting me with some real, community. real basketball, real basketball questions, man. I love it, man. Keep uh, coming. Keep coming with it. Uh, how about this? Real quick. Go, I'll, go. I'll, I'll combine the community service and, and the music at once. I think Kanye West is doing a charity somewhere. <laughs> uh, so there. Now we have your topics off the table. Now let's get back That's to right. mine. Go. Mr. Lopez, <laughs> if you will. Okay. <laughs> Now listen. Let's get let's get the show back on track. Let's hey, go. Listen, I know you don't want to talk it. Well, 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 let's go back to that question though. Go, too, what was the too question? much pressure. <laughs> Sports Illustrated. You cooking me right now, man. You Wait, is that, was that too me, much pressure for a seventeen-year-old huh? to be put on that thing? I mean, no. Nah, you know, you know what, actually, it was fun. First of all, it was fun. It was twenty years ago. 
Uh, they just, uh, I wanted to say that a big shout out to my people at Bleaker's Report. They just did a report uh, about the 20 years of uh, 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 being a, in the cover of Sports Illustrator. But it was a great time. B the Big East was a great, great oh. conference. I mean, you talk about oh, Ray Allen. You talk about um, uh, Allen Iverson. You talk about Kerry Kittles. You talk about Lawrence Morton. Uh, Patrick Ewing. Let's go back. Yeah. Let's I go mean, back into that, Chris that, Mullins, St. John's. That's going way back. You know, well, listen, that's we shit, go back on this back. show, yeah. baby. <laughs> you're going way back. <laughs> you and I are almost, a, you're <laughs> actually uh, a, th a few years older than the Dave man. That's and, right. And, and here, here's the thing. No offense, but I'm three years younger. I'm feeling perhaps a game of one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe Davy mm -hmm. Mac wins over Felipe Lopez. No, you're going to get your ass whooped. <laughs> no, don't get it twisted now. Hey, listen. Do you know but how I can shoot from three? Let, let's, get back to the, let's get back to the question. Yes, yes. You, you, you're going to get yourself in trouble here. <laughs> but check this out. But right. it was a great time. The Big E was a great. It was, uh, you know, I, I'm really proud to say that I competed at, at the time that the Big E's was the Big E's because we don't have the Big E's no more. No, it's not, not, it's not the version close. of the, the Big E's. It's not I, really the I Big E's. I would actually consider that the Big E's was the best conference at the time when we came into college basketball. I mean, you talk about ACC, but it was not even close to what the Big E's was. It wasn't. It wasn't. Well, listen, uh, there was a time in, I believe, uh, 1985, again, going back, but still, you had three... I was Big still in East the banana teams. boat in 85. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get that was, in a second. Okay. But <laughs> I was still in the banana boat. Because you're like, uh, that was, that was the you got like question. a Mariano Rivera situation uh, happening yeah. over here. <laughs> yes. He was, he was from Panama. <laughs> yes. You know, I, 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 I don't know if you were playing basketball with milk cartons the way he was well, using a milk carton for gloves. Yes. Milk and also... You know, when you wrapped up all your old dirty styles, you put it together and you form like a little basketball and then you shoot it at, at whatever. What, a box? Anything that could Cardboard be round. box? Yeah, a round, something yeah, round? Yeah, anything that could be Tire. round. Tire? Tire? Yeah. A donut? A donut? <laughs> I'm just trying to think of round things. See, so you and I would be fire great escape. on password. What's that? Fire escape. A fire escape is round. <laughs> no, but you <laughs> we don't I, have, I, we I don't have no fire oh, escape in the islands. I know. We don't got no fire skates in the islands. First of all, that's Why the not? most the funniest thing I've ever heard in my that entire life. Shit, he just said we have no fire skates in the islands. No, people, just, people usually just jump water. out the windows and shit. Is, and you you jump out the window, you land on the waters. Yeah. That's true. It's a fucking island. <laughs> islands. Did anyone tell you you're allowed to curse in here? I don't know if you want to or not. Well, wait. I'm here Let, for a reason. I know, yeah. She's she's here to be fucking crazy. She, uh, she's our, our usual keyboardist, uh, Roy Schaefer. Uh, he's he's won several Emmys. Well, you you were working with him today, right? Uh, the the uh, the guy over there in the uh, the other. He doesn't. I bet you he doesn't even remember Roy's name. <laughs> the, 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 the little creepy bald guy no, 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 who no, had no, the actually, nipple no, shears. No, funny thing. We actually went to St. John's together. You went to St. John's together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? with my boy Sergio, right. Sergio Morales. We have the whole crew from St. John's here, man. We have, especially <laughs> St. John's is in the top 25. Man, we got the whole St. John's crew over here, man. We have, and we actually have P. Rock. P. Is Rock the, is in the house! He was here. Any relation to Kid? Because he's one of my faves. He rock. You actually you know, look like right. his partner. Ba wa ta ba. Yeah, oh, the little bitch guy. Can you do the dance? Can you do the dance? Can you do the little bitch guy? You cannot do the dance. Don't tell me you can do the dance. Okay. Ba wa ta ba the band the band hit it hit it bitch by the booty the top pop the titty. Ba wa ta ba the band the band oh the bitty the bitty the hop top the bitty. Ba wa ta ba the band. See? You doubt you doubt my musical credentials, Felipe, but uh, I'm I, I definitely gonna doubt your dancing skills. Right. <laughs> that is for sure. Roy texted me, Felipe Lopez, by the way, our co-host, our, our uh, celebrity co-host this evening. Roy Schaefer texted me just now that he was your English tutor at St. John's. Nice. Now, is Ooh. this a fucking typical Roy Schaefer lie? <laughs> he's like Benjamin Linus from Lost. No, he got to be proud of me, like, you know, speaking this language right now. Did, yeah. But yeah. What, did he re was he really I your, your tutor is my question. Yeah, he, they, yeah. he told me the ABC <laughs> and all that shit. You know what, Roy? You're a fucking liar. <laughs> no, you son of a bitch. Don't diminish Felipe Lopez. No, no, don't say that. Roy's my, he's a, my close friend. I, I, I mean, honestly, you like time. Roy? <laughs> You're the one? Oh, come on, man. Hey, Roy, look. He's always talking listen. about, I've got this one friend, but we didn't know it was Felipe Lopez, they, for Christ's sake. You know what? It, it, was, uh, it was a surprise. <laughs> <laughs>
There, there it is. Can I get back to <laughs> your words, not mine, the banana boat? <laughs> um, yeah, I was in a banana you're boat. You're from man. the DR. Yes, I am. For those of uh, the, uh, the people uh, who don't know, that's the Dominican Republic. That's yeah. right. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Gabe didn't know. Gabe, Gabe didn't know that. Okay. Now, you're from the DR. Now, now, how how long did you live there? Because you, you, were, you were a huge, uh, like I said before, High school basketball star in New it York just City. so happened my family moved into uh, to the United States and um, just just for a, a better lifestyle you know uh, a lot of a lot of folks that come to this country they they looking out for a better opportunity and um, I was blessed to be able to come to the country when I was fourteen okay uh, I, I knew wow how, I knew year. how to speak the language like kind of a little bit I I knew how to say yes. And I knew how to say no. <laughs> hey, <laughs> been halfway there. Wait, 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 right, wait, I was it, halfway there. Wait, is it, is it no, the same. It just so happened that I went to I went to Japan and no was the same thing. Yeah. No, so I was like, no. oh shit! I only knew how to say one one word in English. <laughs> yes. By the way, the way Felipe Lopez just looked at Gabby, baby, oh, God, I thought we were gonna have a Charles Barkley uh, elbow scenario. <laughs> no, where uh, he, was, he was about to put Gabby in his place. No, well, listen, Felipe. So you moved to America when you're 14. Were you playing basketball in the DR? I, I, yeah, actually, I, I was already playing there. Um, my two brothers and, and a sister, I'm the youngest brother, and they already play basketball. So I pretty much just follow them all, all, all over. They they played at, and you know, it, it they play in college. No, they uh, they more play like in local leagues. Sure. Uh, my sister actually did play for Lehman College, and uh, we call her the Dennis Rodman in the family because she did. <laughs> uh, she did average twenty rebounds and sixteen defense, points, yeah. and led the Division three in rebound. Twenty is, rebounds. Twenty rebounds a game. She, well, she actually averaged more rebounds than points, which is that's absurd. ridiculous. Yeah, it I mean, is. well, that, you just said that's Dennis Rodman esque right there. Yeah, yeah. Holy so, so I, you know, I, I follow up. You know, just, 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 I grew up wanted to be like my brother. So it got to a point where I, I grew them. I got better than them, and it was my time to uh, whip their ass. <laughs> <laughs> what was your uh, best, like your prize accomplishment at St. John's? In college, my biggest accomplishment. Yeah, I mean, you know, either team Honestly, or individual. Um, you or, know what? I would both. have to say no. Like for, in a serious kind of way, I would have to say was graduating. Mm -hmm. It was getting my degree. This cool. is why yeah. Felipe Lopez is the co-host yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah. because <laughs> we've had several people on the show. Yeah, Lawrence Taylor. Come on, man. Come on guys, man. Yeah. You guys not gonna get paid yeah. today, goddamn it! <laughs> Shit, let's go. Shit. Yeah. We, we had Mike Tyson on the show. Some of these people. And, and Mike Tyson said his uh, past accomplishment, collecting pigeons. I mean, what is this? Yeah. And Felipe Lopez graduating college, making America right. and the well, DR a better place. It is the honest truth because I, I, play, I play in the NBA. And, uh, uh, you know, yeah, you did. Uh, I was drafted, you know, being the first Dominican to be drafted into the NBA was a, a great accomplishment. Wow. But... The, the matter of the fact is that what I'm doing right now doesn't have anything to do with basketball. It had to do with the fact that I, that I became educated, that I got my degree, that I'm dealing with people that are educated. And, you know, basketball can only take you so much to right. that level. And, you know, if you don't use, you know, your educational, the, 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 the educational kind of piece, it, it, you can only get that much because... It, they just say a stigma about ball players, you know that. Sure. You know that if if you don't outgrow that through your education, you you're just not going to be able to you know become the piece or the person or the professional that you eventually want to become. I got an idea for you as you're talking because you're very articulate. No, no, I, I just want to ask you. Have Mike Tyson here? Yeah, we had Mike Tyson did, here. Did he like punch you and shit? He tried to bite <laughs> gears, uh, Gabe's ear off. That yeah, was close. And uh, uh, he actually succeeded. It's a fake ear. Uh, you can't see it. The headphones blocking it. But yeah, that's what happened there. Man, that's amazing. Oh yeah, we've had all kinds of celebrities. That's amazing, Tom man. Cruise was in here. That's I amazing. asked him about getting married. He jumped right there on that couch. <laughs> it was fucking nuts. But listen, Go. Felipe. Now here's the thing. Uh, uh, I want to get to why you know you you, you are doing some uh, charity uh, work here and you're you're doing some stuff and for the inner cities and whatnot. I did talk about that for a second because we want that out there. Well, right now what, what I'm I'm working uh, I'm an ambassador for NBA Cares and uh, our main purpose is uh, we have the NBA All Star coming coming up in 2015 here in New York City, which is going to be hosted at the Garden and also at the Barclays Center, which is really great. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be it's going to be amazing. So far, we've been doing so many great work throughout the whole five boroughs. 
Uh, our goal is to reach over half a million kids before they all started, and I'm part of that. Um, this past week, we already had three events. Last week, we had uh, another three. Jeez. Uh, it's it just a lot of movement, but it, it's a pleasure to just be able to work with the NBA, to be an ambassador, because I'm able to see by hand how much they're able to do in our community. Right. You know, NBA we, cares. Yeah, we, we, you know, you get to see the games. You get to see the LeBrons. You get to see the Kobe's, all the accomplishments they're doing. But I get to see the, the, the backside of things, which is what I'm doing, which is going out to school, reaching out to the school. We have a, a breakfast and basketball program right now where we're teaching kids to make sure they take advantage of the free breakfast program that the New York City educational uh, system have and are provided for a lot of our students. So, That's awesome. you know, with the NBA and the partner, partnership that we have, it's a very easy message to be able to send out to the kids. So, you know, it, it's an amazing program. Like I say, we are trying to reach over a half a million kids by All-Star. And by by the time All-Star is here, which is uh, uh, the second week of February, right. it's going to be uh, it's gonna be insane. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be a lockdown. The, the skills competition is in Brooklyn. And, it's going to be in Brooklyn. And the All-Star the, game is in the Garden. Yeah, the, the Friday night event, which is going to be the rookie game, uh, is going to be at the Barclays Center. Uh, also, that Saturday night, uh, the slam dunk contest slam is going to be. Skills, yeah. He's going to be at the Barclays Center, and then the All Star game itself is going to be here at the Madison Square Garden. Isn't that an awesome idea? Isn't it's, that incredible? Well, you know, New York is such a huge city. You can't just like have an event and not include Brooklyn, especially the way you know uh, the team is is being sponsored. The yeah. people is really backing. You know, everything that Russian up, so. owner, that Prokhorov, seems uh, pretty uh, fun, huh? Yeah, he got money. <laughs> <laughs> He got money. <laughs> Listen, Felipe, is yes. it legit money or what are we talking? Russian? Uh, I don't want to get you in trouble. I don't want to get you whacked it's, either. It's but, money. Uh, I don't know. What okay, you, yeah. That's you, your you, word. You, you know mine. what? I'm yeah, I don't money. know where. You know what? How about this? Both Davy Mack and Felipe Lopez are saying it comes from very legitimate sources. <laughs> okay? <laughs> uh, Prokhorov's money from the Nets is very legit. Hey, All right. Look, you saying it. I'm just saying that he got money. Now, you, know, you, you didn't get to play in the, in the Barclays. No, no, uh, no. We, it's just uh, is you know, a, cool, it's a brand uh, new arena. It's, it's a wonderful there? arena. Oh, it's, 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 it's a great arena. Yeah, how's it compared to the garden, though? Uh, well, you know what? The thing about the garden will always be the mecca of basketball. It doesn't matter what it is. That's the what history, Jordan says, right? The history that is behind it. You know, they remodeled the whole uh, building, which is amazing. You know, they have the bridges and they yeah. have all these, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I mean, it was sad at one point to go to the garden and see the game with that. With the, uh, they almost seemed like a 16-inch screen that they had at one yeah. point. Right, the yeah. Jumbo. A little, jumbo a little the too jumbo. big. Yeah. But now, now yeah. it's legit. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's legit. Now it's It was like that Dallas play. Cowboys thing. <laughs> yeah. I, Isn't that I, amazing? I, at a certain point, I thought, you know, Patrick Ewing was going to take no. a jump shot. The ball was going to hit the goddamn That's amazing. Scoreboard. We actually had the All-Star game in Dallas, and we hosted it at the Dallas Stadium. Yeah. It was 110,000 people. A hundred ten thousand ten. We broke. It was a record breaking. Wow! It, it was. It was. It was an amazing I mean, place what, to what be. What the hell is Yankee Stadium? Fifty thousand uh, pack. Yankee Stadium used stadium? to be fifty eight, but uh, both uh, Yankees and Mets decreased their stadium. They're that's both around forty nine fifty. Full Yankee Stadium. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, hundred and ten. You're was, getting the job was, done. Yes, All right. Yes. Let Let me ask you a question now. Go. Let me put you on the spot. Uh oh. Because it's spot. just. It's been all cheese puffs and. And cheese doodles and, and, and cheese fries. Hold on a second. Let me just have <laughs> I got to get ready for it. It's been all, all Salud. things Salud. made of Salud. cheese, mm -hmm. Felix. What the shit is wrong with the New York Knickerbockers right now? They're 5-22. and 22. What? Help me. You know I what's love the, thing? the Knicks. I, I think the, the matter of the reason is that... Help! They, they, for me... <laughs> They overthinking with the whole triangle offense. I think you know overthinking. They, they over they're overthinking. I really feel that you know you have guys that have played in the league for many many years. You know you have an all star in your team, and you know uh, trying to implement something so just right from the get go. You right. know it, it have given them a lot of people a little bit of confusion. Yeah. Which with the whole confusion, they have forgot that the game of basketball is not offensively. You have to play defense. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what we do offensively. If you're not stopping the team defensively, it doesn't matter if we're a triangle offense uh, and score 110, if we're not stopping anybody. So, you know, for my whole concern have not been the, the triangle. I think the whole uh, 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 problem has become that the team have forgot how to play defense. Well, I want to say this right now on the record. Yeah. The new coach of the New York Knicks needs to be Felipe Lopez. Oh, <laughs> Give me a stinger. Oh. Give me a hey. stinger. 
I'm Shafe. A, hey, man, I'm, I'm patting you in the back, man. You are you're gonna be my assistant coach. Just, yes, just, just for the sake oh, of yes. Yeah, just, that just for the sake of things. You know, just for the sake of things. Th that means the crossfire's on you, Derek Fisher. Oh, oh shit. That means your days are short. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can compare to Felipe Lopez? Uh -oh. Were you on the cover of Sports Illustrated in high school, Derek Fisher? Uh -oh. Here's the answer. Fuck no. Oh, man. <laughs> But he was in that he Spike Lee there, movie. He got game, you. right? Yeah, that's were right. Were you in that movie? That would have been awesome if you were. I don't know. I'm just all <laughs> fucking drunk right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me ask you a question. This is a very serious question. Go ahead. Who do you think would win in a fight, Gabe or Sean? Oh. Gabe or oh, Sean? <laughs> that's Gabe, <laughs> the, the little guy with the glasses. And Sean's <laughs> drinking the beer uh, with it the drugs. It depends who has the most alcohol on them. Because uh, if it, uh, oh, Sean O'Barry has, no has no blood. He ha uh, only has alcohol yeah, in the yeah. system. Right now, I think Gabe will be actually... Oh! oh! Upset special! Yeah. Felipe you know. Lopez! I, I, like, I like the underdogs. <laughs> I like the underdogs. Even, right. though, even though I will be putting all my money... <laughs> 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 I believe that's called hedging your bets, <laughs> mister. Well, the heart's with me, though. All right. That's not fair at all. I'll be shooting for Gabe, but all my money's over there. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. Okay. Gabe versus oh, Louisa Lisa? Schaefer, the girl. I would definitely Denise. put my money on Louisa. Oh, yeah. Oh, she will so beat, Gabe is always true. Right she will beat the living hell out of Gabe <laughs> with that flute she got on her. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. Take out your flute. Play something nice for Felipe. Go ahead, yeah. I so we're going to pretend flute. like Felipe is like a middle ages fucking king. And you're one no, of these I'm, little uh, flute players that has to entertain the I'm like one of the guys from the Lord of the Rings. Or something. That's right. That's right. That. That's right. He's uh, one of the Aragorn. kings from uh, Aragorn. Aragorn. One of the Hobbit. <laughs> you're, a, you're the king of Gondor, I'm right? I'm playing you Aragorn. a Celtic song Just right Just play him something. I did. And look at him lovingly. Please. This is not how you start off the relationship. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go this ahead. Go ahead, Luis. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're a great flutist. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. This is nice. This is beautiful. You like this? It's good. I feel like I'm on the islands or something. Man. Listen to this. You gonna sing? I'm going to the country. Why don't you want to go? And Felipe Lopez is on the Davy Mac show. And they're drinking beer and talking smack about the Knicks. <laughs> A triangle offense is too complicated. Felipe Lopez feels like they're overthinking their game. Derek Fisher was not on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Oh, fire Phil Jackson. And fire Derek Fisher. And hire Felipe Lopez. And Davey Mack. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Oh, right. that has been Dave's opinion. Please don't <laughs> get me in trouble. Don't get me in trouble. Oh, yeah. This is Man. all uh, the opinion of uh, Davey Mack. In fact, Absolutely. I'm pretty sure we're uh, coercing uh, Felipe Lopez He's to be in here tonight. <laughs> of course, uh, St. John's star. Yes, sir. Let's talk about uh, St. John's, man. Ashley, talk to right me. now, we, we got to be, if you're from New York City, you got to be very excited about St. John's. You know, we're in the top 25. That's right. The team have started off super hot, and uh, I, I couldn't be any happier for my team, my teammates, uh, the, the coaches. You go uh, back and check out a, a, a bunch of games? Well, you know what? This year, you're I have busy. not. No, this year I have, I have not been able to uh, make any gains, but I do keep up through, uh, you know, watching it on TV. Um, Question. And, yes. Is Lou Corniseca still alive? Uh, Lou is the greatest, man. Is he? I mean, is he still alive? Of course he is alive. All right. man. Like, Actually, you know, that was a trick why that I was a trick to question. to St. John's was because <laughs> Louis. Louis Corniseca. Yes, of course, yes. See, see, see uh, Felipe, you and I. We know sports. Mm -hmm. That's why they call us the the uh, Dave and Felipe Masters of Sports shows. Mm -hmm. Sean O, yeah. Gabe, Hello. Louisa. Yeah. I, I don't know how they talk in the I, NBA and NCAA, but nah, I, I, I hope you don't. You're not offended by this language. No, nah. they have their heads up their asses. Well, well, if, yeah, well, if when you want to say that, when I, it comes I, to I, sports, as a co-host, I, I couldn't agree. <laughs> when it with comes it. to sports, they do, <laughs> Felipe. Yes. But to explain, agree yeah. to, to explain to the three of you. 
Yeah. Yes. Louis Carnesecca yeah, was Louis. the legendary St. John's is basketball. Is the legendary, not is was. the legendary St. John's basketball uh, uh, coach, especially during the heyday of the Big East. We're talking early 80s, mid 80s, late 80s, all the way up to the 90s. All the way, even through the 2000s. I mean, UConn wins a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, what the fuck? Why did they dismantle the Big East like this? This was a great conference. Oh, see, what I, happened? I could talk about that. I won't Please do. Trouble. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I actually don't it know. It all had to do with money. Uh, yeah. It all had to do with money. Johnny and football to, it says this. It all had to do with uh, splitting profits with the schools. And, you know, I think some of the school felt like, you know, the chunk w- was supposed to go a little bit higher to them and... You know, it's a conference, so you know when you do have a, a, a few schools that they are holding up, you know, the value of the conference. They 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 felt like you know, uh, but it, it was it's sad, man. It's it sad really how, is. You know, like how money had to well, be. Syracuse th- is in the ACC. It, what are we I, talking I was still, here? I was still not even consider Syracuse an ACC. I know, like right? every time I see Syracuse, I see yeah. them. That's a Big East team. It doesn't matter where they go. They could go to the moon and play the conference in the moon. <laughs> you know, but, but for real, it, it's, it's bizarre to see Jim Beheim as an ACC. The ACC, we know. Coach K, yeah. Dean Smith, whatever. Jim Beheim in the ACC? What it's the just, shit uh, it, it is happening even, here? He it it doesn't even sound right. You know, Do you uh, think it it's football? Even, is that, is, that, is that all it is? He does play a huge part into, into you know, basketball and football plays such a huge part in, in, in decision making, whatever it comes down to to the university, because those are the two main revenues to all these schools. But the genius that was set up with the Big East was originally they realized these colleges will never compete with the Michigans and Notre Dame in mm. football. So we're going to have the best fucking basketball conference and we're going to focus on that. That was the whole mission. And by the way, they made money. Mm-hmm. They sold out arenas and they got great ratings. So it's always do they do you, do you always need to take the extra dollar? They have something there in the Big East. They had a truly well, great know, but, basketball but, but, conference. But you know what's the thing about it? Even when you talk about the Big East, you, you always you always talk about the Big East and the representation of the, of the athletes. And a lot of these athletes uh, becomes ball players. You know, when you talk about Big East, you talk about Pat Ewan, you talk about Allen Ivers, you talk about uh, Reggie Williams, you talk about myself, you talk right. about yeah. uh, uh, Ray Allen, you talk about Kerry Kittles. A lot of these players that come from the Big East, they they ball players. So you know, it, it's a whole other business that you know. I, honestly, I don't want to get into it because I don't have an understanding for it. But from the basketball player point of view, the Big East was basketball. Okay. You know, and, and 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 yeah, even though you do have some great schools that have some some great football teams, you know, and, and they try to get a bigger piece out of the pie, you know, at the end of the day, you know, a, a lot of these athletes was bringing a lot of revenues because of who they were as bowl players. That's like you know, Sean O is always trying to get a bigger piece out of the pie. Yeah, you is, know, I have a David Max Sports Program pie. Sure. Well, you know what? Since I'm here in the program, I, I deserve a little bit of a pie, or a little bit of the piece of the Absolutely. pie now too, because as a co-host. Oh, Jesus Christ. So now we, we are like giving like Felipe th- Lopez twenty five percent. There we go. I'm, I'm going already. <laughs> I've been doing this show for five years. I think I have seventeen dollars in my I'm, goddamn bank I'm, account for it. <laughs> I'm paying everyone. For some reason, I decided to pull a Kurt Cobain move. Hey guys, we'll all split our pay equally. <laughs> Meanwhile, fucking one of the guys doesn't show up ninety percent of the time. Our keyboardist has right. missed two shows. I, I have to have Mr. Felipe Lopez co-host, which hey. I'm happy. Inside By day, way. inside day. I just want to say something over what here. Up, I'm baby? just reading my Twitter account, and we definitely got to say that a big shout out to Iconic Thirty Two. Uh, they they following us. They following you right now. They saying nice. that they're listening to the show. Uh, and and Iconic Thirty Two. Those are my guys. Those are my brothers from St. John's University. We're doing some great things as far as uh, create it. Um, we had the interview God with Pete Rock, John's. and uh, you know it, it is a uh, it is a firm that is coming up. You're gonna be hearing a lot about Iconic kind of Thirty Two because we're gonna be coming strong. Yeah, for all stars. Right. Right. Stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it. Give me some sound. See, whenever you have like a big point to make, yeah, we, we need some like we we like a keyboard sting. Like Roy, a room service kind of thing. Yeah, Roy always gives us a nice, powerful sting. And Louisa Schaefer, his niece, is just, I don't know what the hell this is. She's playing a little child rhymes or something. Just just hit the whole thing. Well, yeah, it's a sting. Yeah. Yeah. That's a sting. Right. Don't doubt my capability. That's Whoa. a sting. Come on, Louisa, you got to hit it with some love, man. Give us some love. Why Give us some soul into it. Why don't you play the flute again? Because I want to play a song 
for Mr. Felipe Lopez. What are we doing? Uh, we did uh, go into the country. We tried this a few weeks ago. This is one of my favorites. I, I want to hear you sing uh, Take Me Out. Take Me Out of the Ball Game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. with some flute. That's that got to be. Hey, and can we record it, man? Because this, I honestly feel if we can yeah. put this uh, into some, like, we can drop some hip hop kind of thing into it. They, you, and I, we can make it a theme song. And, you know, we, we just need one hit. One hit. <laughs> we just need one hit. You know, I say, Take. Me out. I've been. Well, let me just say this. I've been doing this show for 59 years. That's about right. Okay. Well, just about right. Just yeah. about right. 59. <laughs> I've been on Twitter for 72 years. Okay. Okay. I oh, have so 300 billion followers. Well, well All right. shit. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 All right. Like, yeah. Okay. My point is this. Yes. I've never been so honored to sing a song for someone sitting in this goddamn God chair. God damn it, give me some time. You know why? Because I'm a sports Please, fan. Because like, I'm a sports fan, and I know Felipe Lopez. If you don't, shame on you. Mm -hmm. Now, Shano, where, what happened to that uh, take me out to the ball game thing? That's what Felipe wanted to hear. That's what he's going to hear, baby. That's right. Shoot. Because we're going to make a hit out of this. This is for you. It's for my co-host, Felipe Lopez, St. John's Own. Thank you. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Wait, what? They didn't even start from the beginning. <laughs> start it from the beginning. Uh, okay, start it again. Hold on. I just get emotional when you started singing. I ready? just got like... Okay, One, ready? Two, three, four. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. Jack. I won't care if they ever get out of we'll root, we'll root for the home team. They know when it's a shame. Only one, one, two, three. three. Take out of the old ball game. Yeah. Yeah. You know where you are. You're in the Felipe Lopez jungle, baby. Let's take me out to the ball game as done by Felipe Lopez, Davy Mack, that's right, and <laughs> W. Axel Rose. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Hey, listen, there's gonna be some people trying to copy that song and, and, and try to remiss it. You know, I just don't think anyone's going to try and copy that song. No, yeah, I love this. your optimism. Yeah, well, shit, I, I, I just love your positive point. To, man. Do you I know you're the total opposite of Pepper in that's virtually true, actually, every way? That's really I true. mean, you're like literally every, literally way. every really. single yeah, yeah, yeah. way. Like, you know, it's a funny we could go with hey, obvious baby. physical no, no. ways, yeah. but <laughs> can I just be I'm honest? talking personality. Can I just be you honest, though? You bring in joy. Can I be honest, though? I have to say Pepper. Let me apologize to you because <laughs> I do not know who you are. I don't want to run into you on the street and you get me a beat down. But when you say Pepper, I thought it was actually a dog. <laughs> like Pepper. It like is. Pepper, like, like you know, pet. Talk, a pet. Like, oh, Pepper, what is fucking Pepper? Yeah, Let me like, tell you something, pal. He is. At least, at the very least, he's a fucking animal. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's right. a dog itself. But you know what? The way you just described him, you I'm hit him sorry, in a Pepper nutshell. Man. I'm sorry, Pepper Man. He's just, no, you know. don't apologize. Okay. I haven't seen the guys like J.D. Salinger over here. He's just disappeared <laughs> off the fucking map. Oh my God. Every other uh, goddamn Davy Mac sports <laughs> program, it's uh, uh, I can't make it tonight. He oh, once man. told me. Now, what? What you're, did I say? You, you're, you, you were a phenomenal high school, college, and professional basketball player. He once told me he couldn't make the show because... He, he ate, ate a, a bad pizza. sandwich. <laughs> now you played in the NBA. Could you imagine? You played in the NBA in the fucking 90s. That, that Could you imagine, oh, that, I don't know, Michael Jordan that, saying, you know that, what? I ate a bad sandwich, Scotty Pippen. That do sound like so, a dog. <laughs> He said I ate a bad sandwich. It's a bad sandwich you That's look like. That's not bullshit. That, That's in the email. Like something he, you shouldn't eat. He that sat down on an email and typed it, it out. <laughs> out. Like, did you think he thought about it, though, before he wrote he it? Must he must have. He pressed enter. I think he must. I think he must be. Yeah, I know and what he you're just saying. Blocked out. And <laughs> he, just, he went a little bit. I, know, I think he was in that J and he just blocked out. Just say, oh, oh, I know what you mean. Shardell uh, calls him the snowplow. The snowplow. <laughs> you know that? No, he went skiing for like a week and he never came back. Yeah, we know what kind of yeah. snow he was skiing on. <laughs> oh, he's just shaved. Ivan Dito. I don't know what's up. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you said. 
but I loved it. Poor baby. In fact, it's it's the goddamn like, new slogan of the David Max Sports <laughs> Program. <laughs> Because I feel like we're crossing barriers here. Yeah. Any, any chance maybe we could get into the uh, Dominican Republic? We'll do our show there, and they, everyone they will love us. They will love you. <laughs> really? And they will eat you alive. <laughs> you are, you are a short thing for a visa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they would let you us would get do married. all... As soon as you get to the country, you would find like two or three wives. <laughs> ready to get you. Yeah. I, I think they would allow us to do like the 60 minutes of the show, and then perhaps we would be all murdered. <laughs> You know, <laughs> just for our general fucking shitty attitudes. No, no, that we actually that we love you, man. You're honestly. a good person. Yeah, attitude, you know that. Just, your attitude, you're Haiti. You're your attitude. Haiti. If you was a little bit dark skinned I think you would just be considered Dominican as well. You know, that's I just my opinion. Do... My opinion. All right, Felipe Lopez sitting in the uh, great basketball player. We do have a live read. Oh, yeah. uh, sure, I'll just play some uh, one of the the uh, take me out of the ball game. Play oh. that again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is uh, FanDuel.com. Listen. Your season-long fantasy football league is winding down, but the one-week fantasy football leagues on FanDuel have never been bigger. Don't wait till next year. Play more fantasy football for real cash this season over at FanDuel.com. Can you believe this, Felipe? Chris Prince, right, from Detroit. He's an avid fantasy football player. He won over $656,000. Woo! Yeah, yeah. What a nice chunk of change. You hear that? Man. That, that, that was all from playing fantasy sports at FanDuel.com. You can join him and hundreds of thousands of users who've already won money. They're the leader in one-week fantasy football leagues. Money's real. Entry fees start at $1. Here's the key. Go to FanDuel.com. Click on the upper uh, microphone in the upper right-hand corner that says DMS. That's Davey Mac Show. DMS. Sign up now. New user special. If you type the code DMS, they'll match you for up to 200 bucks. That's nice. 200 free dollars. Like Go to FanDuel, F-A-N-D-U-E-L.com, FanDuel.com. Woo! And while you're at it, get some free money. Free. Felipe Lopez. Felipe Lopez. Felipe Lopez. Lou Conaseca. Yeah. Lou Conaseca. Chris Mullet! Chris Mullet! Now I've run out of St. John's stars. I'm sorry. I knew, I, I knew right, you man. three. Listen. I'm sure there are, there are way, way more, and they, I just get a brain fart. My mom or, went to St. Or John's. eight beers. She didn't uh, Your play. mom played, uh, went to St. No, John's? she went there. She didn't play on the team. She went to St. John's? She did. What year? Pro I'm, I'm guessing not the same years that Felipe Lopez <laughs> went to. No. I'm guessing. My, yeah, I'm guessing that. Yeah. <laughs> My cousin just graduated uh, from late there. Late 60s. Late 60s? Yeah. Did she play ball? Uh, no. So go fuck your mom. Now Jesus. you. Like, you. <laughs> Even Felipe goes, jeez, yeah. that was hard. <laughs> Gabe. Yeah. Cousin. My cousin did. Did he go to St. John's? He did. He just graduated. Did he a play year ball? Ago. Uh -oh. Maybe. Tell your cousin to go, go jump off a himself. fucking bridge. How about that? God. And Louisa Schaaf. Anyone uh, that you know went to St. John's? Uh no, I played street ball when I was thirteen. That doesn't count. Now it's just crazy talk, <laughs> that's and that's not gonna impress. Not that's talk. not gonna impress someone who's in the NBA. Stick ball? It's just not gonna impress them. You and another oh. ten million people. I know. Oh. Oh. You know what I always tell I'm just people? Trying to fit in. You know what I always tell people, Felipe? <laughs> when I played high school, go fuck oh, yourself. You <laughs> 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 Karma. True. When I played high school, around. Felipe. What do you what did you play though? I just want I'm curious. What was that you play? Shooting guard. Shooting. I, 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 here's what I did, Felipe. At three feet, three feet eleven. Here, here's what I did. No, <laughs> I was about five ten back then. Oh, back then. Oh, you just happened to shrink. Okay. <laughs> now listen, Felipe. Go. Here, here's what I did. Stand by the three point line. You guys want some trays? Just throw it to Davey Mac. I'll, now here's the thing, Felipe. What? Don't don't expect me to play <laughs> defense. <laughs> Don't expect me to rebound. Don't expect me to pass the ball. Don't expect me to steal. Don't expect yeah, me to well. do jack and shit. Right. But put me on the left arc, oh uh, two feet behind the three-point line. You want 12 points? I'll hit four threes for you in the game. It and bam, cash, now, now your team's got 12 points. It was you want that, cash, Coach? Baby. You want 12 points, Coach? That's right, put baby. me the fucking game. Give him the ball, baby. Thank you. That's right. And that was all before the game started. <laughs> <laughs> and the truth is, uh, that speech actually worked once on my coach. I went like about two for 12. 
my god. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. But I checked them all for the three. The thing was that you convinced them, though. Yeah. I did. The attitude. Now you got me convinced, though, too. A, I convinced them. And B, I stayed to my gameplay. I stay aggressive. That's I go, right. Davey Mac, shoot the rock. Well, I would tell people, man, you got to fake it till you make it, though. You That's know, you got to fake it till you make it. He put me in a few games later. I hit some threes, and then all was good. But that game, the game where I gave him the big fucking Vince Lombardi, Pat Riley speech, two for 12. Boy, was I goddamn sheepish. That was the end of my uh, my college uh, basketball dreams. You know, at that point, people don't know. I was averaging 83 points a game in high school. Wow. It was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was also a lie, too. Yeah. It was? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I, I know you don't, you know, uh, but Sean O was looking at me like, yeah. wow, wow, 83 yeah. points? That's impressive, man. That's way more than Felipe. No, I'm Jeez. believing it, though. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm sold. All your stories, I'm sold. <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. I yes. feel lied to. Because you're a sports guy. Mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, new scuttlebutt, Mr. Felipe Lopez, is that finally we might get a fight between these two. The question from the Dave man to Felipe Lopez is, who would you like to win, and why is it taking so long? You can answer in either order. Who is it again? Manny Pacquiao. At Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, I know these guys. You know these guys? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like No, I think, you know, uh, uh, Mayweather actually uh, whooped his ass last time. Well, they never, they haven't fought yet. That's my point. They're, they're, it's a nice they're try. Well, yeah. Roy the about is that It's Mayweather. Roy Schaefer. Take his mask off. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing about it is that Mayweather confident he already whooped his ass. Well, but, ah, I see oh, what he's saying. Mentally, you're saying ah, yeah, 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 he ass. already whooped he his ass. It just so happened that he don't want to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> So in, in an imaginary scenario, yeah, that for some reason, Mayweather, just, I don't understand. Like you know what, I think that would be one of the greatest fight in boxing. Need to see that. Like they, they yeah. want because what's going to happen is that uh, Pacquiao is going to be too old to fight him, uh, and you then you know uh, 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 Mayweather is going to be still on his prime, which still is, yeah. and he's just not going to be the same kind of fight. No. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So you, you, I don't know if you remember this. You might not. In the late '80s, they actually had a pay per view special of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar playing Dr. J on 101. Wow. It was a pay-per-view wow. no, special. No, yeah, you had to pay 25 bucks for it. But it, it goes to your point where at the time that they finally got this pay-per-view special, both guys were like 43 years old. Right. And, you know, listen, they could still beat my fucking ass. <laughs> but, you know, we wanted to see, you know, Dr. J and Kareem right. play in their prime. Exactly. Well, no, 1978. No, you know Why you at it? Wouldn't it be, like, dope? Like to see like a, a LeBron James MJ kind of oh, matchup, like you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah, 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 like around their time, yeah. or right now, yeah. how about a pay per view LeBron versus Durant right now? Pay per view Ooh. that would be dope. Like, you know, NBA, think outside the box, or I got an even better idea do that on Saturday, uh, All Star no. Weekend. Woo! Everyone would watch the fucking NBA ranks through the roof. Davey Mac, hey, give give, give that, that to the new commissioner. No, but what's that, his name? <laughs> Whoever that guy is, the bald guy. I, Adam Used Silver. to be Stern. Adam, 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 Adam Silver. Adam Silver. Give great that to guy. Adam Silver. Great guy. Have great you guy. met him? I love him. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. Him. He's a great guy, man. I, I liked what he did with he's that. He's doing a lot of great uh, things for the NBA. He's he, a lot of his ideas have very innovative, and I, I really think he's doing a great job with the I, NBA. I, I oh. agree. I liked what he did with the Clippers owner too. That yes. that, that, yeah. that insane beast. What did you think about that whole scenario? I think he handled it really well. I really, well, I, well, I, really I mean, but I think put it about the show, Clippers guy himself. It showed his muscles. It showed, you know, as a commissioner, you know, like what he, he was capable of doing. And it really, it, it gave the good impression to everyone else that, that follow basketball, that are very uh, intolerant to, you know, all this, you know, racism that is happening. What's wrong with it's crazy. Donald Sterling? It's crazy. How can you possibly own any kind of sports team? And uh, be bigoted for fuck's sake! What? what, what? It's crazy. Did it's, you guys? He's did, eighty. Did, did you guys know that? That's how I, I'm saying. Did NBA seriously? players know? Hey, before all this shit broke, right? With the Instagram and all this, did the NBA players have an idea of? Hey, this Donald Sterling guy. He's a you know he's a bit well, of a that, dick. Well, like from my personal point of view, I would not know any of this because I, I didn't have a relationship with. Them. I didn't play for the Clippers. Mm. I played with the Grizzlies. I played right. with the Wizards. But I'm saying, did you ever talk to one of the Clippers at in that era? Or, nah, that's not a no. conversation that you're gonna get into. Like no. it's not like yeah. I'm gonna you know no. see Chris Paul and be like, hey, uh, <laughs> is your oh, owner hey. asshole or what? <laughs> yeah. How about this racist old white eighty year old man? Of course he's racist. He's fucking 80. Uh, is... he's just, yeah, well, then don't own a goddamn sports team. How about that? Yeah. You know, and, and, and by the way, 
what we heard in the last you know year and a half, apparently all this type of shitty behavior has been existing under Donald Sterling for like 30 years. Since he basically began owning the, the Clippers, he has been a terrible human and a terrible owner. Yeah. They, they were a bad team, and he wasn't good to his players. And all, I'm all about the players, baby. I'm all about the talent, baby. I'm all about Felipe Lopez, Woo! our co-host, Gimme Ducks, Felipe. Bam. I'm, hey, look, if you, don't, if you don't get me back in the program, I'm sending it down. No, I'm you. Saying, whoever the heck I'm saying I hate now. to I tell you, to... but we're doing this show live on Christmas, and you're the goddamn co-host. God, <laughs> yeah, I'll be the Grinch. <laughs> I'll be the Grinch. <laughs> Pepper Bear be sweat down. Yeah. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Fucking Felipe hey, Lopez guys, came look, in. I, want, I wanted to say thank you to yeah. all of you guys. It's been fun. It's been great, man. I, I, honestly, I didn't expect it, the energy yeah. that, that I'm, I'm able to, you know, catch her. You know, just sitting here with you well, guys, you know David. What? Thank you so much for uh, allowing me to be on your show, oh, talk about basketball, sweet talk heart. about, you know, community, and talk about some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, we've had musicians on the show, and oddly enough, you're our first athlete on the David Beck Sports <laughs> Program. Yeah. Yeah. Sports yeah. Illustrated cover. St. John's Biggie star NBA player. Just one hell of a Felipe great guy. Felipe Lopez, also. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Just a, he fit in like a yeah. goddamn yeah, glove. Very good. That's right. Thank you. Thanks to all the followers on Twitter, to uh, um, to your followers. Eastside Dave. Dave all, all three millions of dollars. I love it how even though we forgot by Dave, he was able to do it no, with such I, grace. I'm trying to get the East Side yeah. shit down because I was going to say <laughs> West Side, West Whoa. Side Dave. <laughs> it's a different we team. We don't side. like it. We are on the west side. We are the west this side. This is the west right side. Now. This is forty. Yeah. This is Times Square. You're this right. is the west side. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're gonna be all confusing here and shit. Yeah. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Times Square Dave. Then next time, <laughs> I'll change my whole Twitter handle yeah. and everything just for Felipe just Lopez. Lopez. All the guy, follow me at Felipe Lopez 13 dr Iconic 32. Awesome. Curators and uh, hey, much love. Merry Christmas to all of you guys. Don't drink and drive and uh, shit. What else can I say? I said it all. All right. Thank Felipe you. Lopez, Sean O, Louisa Schaefer, yeah. Gabby Baby, Eric, and me, Eastside Dave. This was a fun one. Good night, everybody.